Hello everyone. This is the third installation of my coronavirus unboxing series. This is a special one. I have the MacBook Air 2020. My fiance needed to upgrade her laptop, so we just decided to get this one. Here it is. In all its glory, beautiful box. Apple specialty. A great unboxing experience usually. It's the i5 with eight gigs of RAM and uh, 512 gigs SSD. I might regret that eight gigs of RAM later on, but I think we'll be okay for now. It has this nice, easy open tab. I'm gonna go ahead and peel all the way around, okay. All right, let's see. There we go. Another easy lift tab. Wow, pretty lightweight. that for the end. Let's go ahead and see what else is in the box. You have the user manual and I'm sure there's Apple stickers in there. Let's see. Let's see what color we got. The laptop itself is space gray. Oh, that's it. That's all. There's some hard card in there. Oh, here we go. Space gray stickers for a space gray MacBook. I will put that to the side. What else is there? Is there that's a power brick, pretty hefty. All right, and this is a USB-C to USB-C power cable. It's charged through the USB-C port, which is, I think, Thunderbolt capable, however they call it. Nice box, I'll keep this until I have the laptop. Right, we'll put it to the side. All right, well, let's open up the New laptop. Unwrap it here. This is a laptop, two USB-C ports, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, nothing on this side, nothing on this side. Let's open it up. Oh, and there is a paper to protect the screen, I think. Yep. All right, let's boot it up. See how long it takes. Well, it's a nice backlit keyboard. It has it's the new style called the Magic Keyboard, so it doesn't have that old keyboard where the keys used to pop off. Still. Is a camera there, hard to see. Like the United States. Let's see. Continue. I'll connect to my Wi Fi. We'll pan away for this. I've heard that this Wi-Fi connection alone takes a long time. Let me go ahead and show you the... Let's have another closer look to the laptop while it's loading. It's a backlit keyboard. Looks beautiful. 
nice MacBook Air logo, speaker grills, you can see here. Still trying to figure out whatever it needs to figure out with the Wi-Fi. All these screws, if I need to ever get in, although nothing's customizable, I think. So no need to get in there. So we entered the username and password for our Apple ID to log into the computer for the first time ever. So I'll try to give you a complete walkthrough of the login process. I don't think you can disagree with that, so we'll go ahead and agree. Once we fill out that screen, it gets, gets you to this iCloud setup screen. We'll see how long that takes. That took about two minutes, then it set, set up the find my device thing, and then now it's asking to see if we need to sh want to share data, which we don't, because, just because. All right, screen time, I don't need that. This is not an iPhone. Enable Ask Siri. We don't do, yeah. We'll, ask Siri, we'll, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Okay, so Siri's set up. We don't need to share it with everything with the iCloud because that would just fill up our iCloud. So we'll just uncheck store files. My iCloud is full anyway, so it doesn't matter. We don't need disk encryption that just slows down your computer. Alright. Okay, so there's this touch ID button right here. We're going to set up Touch ID with. My Lenovo ThinkPad has a fingerprint reader as well, but it's more of a swipe fingerprint rather than a full Touch ID fingerprint scanner that comes with the uh, Apple devices. It's nice to have this so you don't have to type in your password. I don't know why you would set up Apple Pay for a MacBook, but I guess if you want to put your payment information into a website, it should work. We'll set that up later. Let's continue, but it's just gonna take some time. I think this might be the last step, hopefully. There's three different looks, light, dark, and auto. I think we can do auto for now and can decide what to do. Two-tone display, so it's the thing that iPhones have too. It just helps you see the screen better. Last step, I hope. All right, here's the MacBook desktop in all its glory. It's a very nice screen. You can see 
You can't really see the pixels no matter how close you get to it. So that's my unboxing and walkthrough of the setup for the 2020 MacBook Air. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and leave a comment on how I can improve this videos or if you have any discussion about the product.